Hello there, everybody. How are you all doing today? First stream without Megan in a while. Man, I'm gonna miss her. Gonna miss having her here. I mean, she'll be back eventually for, like, other streams in the future. But, like, obviously we're doing some Final Fantasy 16 today. Which she still uh, hasn't finished herself. Which is perfectly fine. Well, because she's waiting for me. She's waiting for me. So, you know. Go ahead and we'll just hop straight on in. Uh, hey, Bass. Welcome back to the stream. How you doing today there, friendo? He says, hello. I hope Megan's doing well. She is. She's doing really well. Uh, she's doing quite good today. Um, she took the she took Final Fantasy sixteen out. <laughs> I mean, can you just play it through this? I think you can, right? Did she take it out? I don't know. I'm not too sure if she did. She was playing Atlas Fallen, which, but I guess it I guess it's downloaded on the system, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> <clears throat> I guess it doesn't, because, I don't know, she she did tell me she was playing Atlas Fallen earlier, but before I started, I was like, is the game in the disc, or is the disc in the, the system, the, like, the game in the system? She's like, yeah. So I guess, I don't know, she probably has my disc in her room somewhere. Uh, probably in its case, because she's really good with that. Oh, I'm just going to turn up just a little bit. It's been a smidge, so I don't know quite what the volume is it's supposed to be like. Uh, so we'll probably adjust it on the fly. Um, <clears throat> still in that small town, just saying hi. Probably going to leave soon to head out for a walk. No, perfectly fine. Stay for as long as you wish. Uh, yeah, so we were... <clears throat> excuse me. Um, uh, going back home, uh, from what I remember. Going back to Martha's Rest. Because, yeah, we stopped right here. I actually did uh, finish uh, editing this bit not too long ago on, well, myself. So, I know roughly where we are, which is nice. Suck down a potion just to get rid of that red filter. Revenge. Yeah, all right. Megan getting revenge on me. Thank you very much for the hydrate and the posture check, by the way. Ah, uh, yeah. It was really good. So it's been a little bit, but I'm still I'm pretty familiar with the game's story. So for people watching this on the stream or through the VOD or whatever, um, from what I remember, we uh, had just finished talking with, like, Sid and stuff. We defeated Garuda. Uh, we got the Garuda's power. And now we have our friendo here whose name is Jill, I believe. Uh, and our whole thing is we're heading back to our hometown of Rosaria. And I believe, if I remember correctly, I believe that, um... What was I going to say? I believe um, that they very... Excuse me. Very subtly kind of implied that the man we've been following is actually our younger brother, Joshua, who survived... Which I was thinking about it on my own time, and it kind of makes sense. Because if he's the phoenix, he's going to rise out of the ashes, right? It's just what he, what phoenixes do. So it makes sense from uh, from the perspective of, well, it's just making sense. So let's roam about and wander a little. That's one of our branded. Do we take him in? He's not one of ours. Look, he's with his master. Uh, I don't remember if I wandered around here. I think I did. I don't think I did, actually. I don't think I did. So let's wander around the zone. Um, get the zone all checked out. We'll leave the... Kelpie. I know they're not Kelpie, but they remind me a lot of Kelpie. From Monster Hunter. So we'll leave them be. Now, these seem like enemies, though. Uh, how do you swap? There you go. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to again. Still really good though. I 
I can't tell if the volume is good though. I think it sounds good. Um, I might turn it up a little bit. I thought I thought the volume would be good, but maybe not. Yeah, increase just a little. I agree. The volume for some games are just really weird. We'll try that. I think that sounds better. Maybe a smidge too loud. But overall, I think it sounds better. See, it's gonna take a bit getting back, uh, getting back in the swing with the combo system. My wounds, boy. My wounds, boy. Can I just have him like spam heals? Oh no, it doesn't work with that. Okay. Uh, this is probably fine. Cause I'm not gonna lie, you know, even when I think it's a bit too loud. I watch it back and I'd like I don't watch the whole thing back obviously so maybe it's not like perfect but I watched the thing back when I edited it and I'm like oh you know what even though I thought it was kind of loud here you know it actually kind of works out weird how that works oh. how do you dodge again you dodge like that yeah Oh. Yeah, I keep hitting the wrong button. So it's it's okay. So wait, it's L two to change that. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit. It's it's gonna take some getting used to again. Cause how do I how do I do magic? That's how I do magic. That's right. Flames of Reaper. That's probably a waste, but I want to do it anyway. Why? Because it looks cool, and it's been a while, okay? It's been a while. I like looking cool. Gone. Reduce to ashes. Exactly. Die, B. With a chest, yes. I'm, I'm glad I came here. I got a black blood. Nice. You an enemy? Yeah. So I'm trying. I'm still trying to get used to how you combo like between between hits. Does the volume seem good now? I think it does. I think OBS is lying to me when it's like, oh, it's actually like just a little bit high. I think it's probably fine. It sounds good to me at the very least. Now, I don't know. OBS has been known to lie to me before with how the volume sounds. Whoosh. Not today, big boy or big horn. Oh, nah. I mean, that hit me, but I went to dodge. A little help. Okay, so I think it's gouge into this. And a heat wave, and then you can do a flames of rebirth. Hit him with the occasional Phoenix shift. Yeah, it's good damage. It's good damage. Oh, 
Aber okay, okay, das ist fein. Outraging Bull. Yeah, we just avoid it. Or dodge when that happens, I guess. Okay, hold up. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take us a little bit of getting used to again. I don't wish to die on like a normal enemy. That's not gonna happen. Deadly Embrace, do that. Wait, wait, wait. Heat Wave, Gouge. Hit with a little bit of that. Yeah, look at that. Ah, uh, Torgal heal me. And then Torgal Ravage. Do I dare heal? No. I probably should, but I'm not gonna. Oh yeah, there we go. See, that's what that's what we like to see. It's okay, he's about to go down. Yeah. There you go. Ability finish. Now, should I have healed? Yeah, probably, but eh, we're fine. We made it. That's what matters. I thought we'll get rid of the uh, red filter. Cause we don't want that. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind other things, but I, I don't like a red filter around my screen. You might be able to turn that off in the menu as well, but eh. It's kind of like having the... You know, the you're almost dead sound in Zelda. You don't want it, it serves a purpose, but you don't really want it there, you know? It's more annoying than it is helpful. At least in my opinion. How can some speedrunners handle being under red health for so long because of low health strats? I don't know, man. They they they're built different. Speedrunners are all built different. Okay, let me think about how I want to do this, because, like, clearly I can go over there, too, like, that away. But I think it'd be pretty epic to go on the bridge. To, like, get back to my hometown, you know? Hey, storks! I love the nature in this game. It's so nice. Mm. Okay, tell you what. We'll go up here and then we'll make our way down and like that way. I think that makes sense. That way we that way we see the cool coolness from the bridge. That's true, you can have a battle on a big bridge, that is true. Good girl. You get some In fact, isn't that like a thing in in fucking like Chrono Trigger, like the Battle of Big Bridge or something you like that? Really have to step out your front door then days before you're set upon by beasts or, or, or bandits. So much for the Holy Empire bringing us a new age of enlightened order. Place has gone to the dogs. Look at that waterfall over there. Is that a waterfall? Or is that just like, no, it's a waterfall. That's pretty cool. One of the Final Fantasies. Are you, see, I thought you were making a reference, right? It sounded really familiar. I'm like, is that, but I thought it was from Chrono Trigger. I guess it would have been Final Fantasy. Let's see. Bass says, you know, we're getting to the point with gaming where we're in another uncanny valley where games are looking so good that faces look weird again. I could believe that. I, I think you're right that this game doesn't really suffer it, but I can imagine games in the future will for sure. You gotta find, like, a nice fine line, you know? Howdy. Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? 
Okay, we'll do that in a moment. The stuff was for the golden stables again. The golden stables. I wonder if that's a reference to the golden chocobo stables. Well, not this. Well, I shouldn't say cho uh, golden chocobo stables, but like how you had to breed for just golden chocobo and uh, seven. Wouldn't be surprised. I'm not even going up near you, my dude. You calm down. Oh. Ah, oh, yeah. Die. Perish. Hey, Blanche. Let's just slay. Let's slaughter. There you go. That'll do. That'll do. I don't know. If there's a way to rest at an inn, I might do that. Get my health back. I don't know. Or I guess I could just buy more potions. Probably cheap enough. I'm really stingy with my health items in these games, though. I can't remember which games I would have played. Well, I can't remember which games I would have played recently where that's been a thing, like on stream. Yeah, you know, like obviously you have like Persona, which if people have watched that will know that uh, I've been really stingy in that game. Just because I don't, I don't like to use my health items. I see it as a waste of money when I can just get it back eventually for like probably free, right? Then again, in what games do most people not hoard health items? Oh wait. Oh yeah. Then again, in what games do most people not hoard health items? I agree, right? Like it's such a common thing. Let me hoard. Let me hoard my items. I might not need it now. You know, I'm, I'm trying to think. I, I read recently on a Reddit thread. There was like a Reddit thread where people were talking about this, where it was like, um, what caused you to start like hoarding onto every item in a video game? I can't think of mine. I don't think I have one specifically. But like, I, I did read that one guy was like, oh, you know, there was this item I got in the game. I don't remember which one he said it was. But he was like, it was some kind of like, some kind of item, which is like a sword hilt or something. And he was like, well, I'll just get another one of those later. Not really a big deal. I can just sell it now. And he said he never got it later, but he also found out that apparently you needed it to like get the super ultimate weapon of the game. And I believe this part could be wrong, but I believe he said that it also made it so he couldn't get a certain ending in the game that he was shooting for. Which is a very feels bad man kind of moment. I guess in Dark Souls you really do that. Mm, I mean, true. I guess in Dark Souls, I, I, yeah. I suppose that's accurate. A lot of old adventure games used to do it. I, I believe that's true too, yeah. See, I don't think there is any specific instance where that happened to me. Like, I will admit, I did do stupid things with items that you can never get again. Not like health items. But like, I remember playing my first game of Pokemon, Pokemon Red, right? Pokemon Red. I had a ton of items, right? Because I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't know why, but I had like a lot of items in my first game of Pokemon Red to the point where my backpack was actually full of them. Um, like it was like literally full, couldn't pick up anything new. Unless it went in one of the slots. And I remember looking through my backpack because there was an item on the ground and I wanted to pick it up. And 
and I don't know what the item I picked up was, but I remember looking through my items and going like, okay, what don't I need? Hmm. A master ball? Well, I already have a lot of like ultra balls. Do I really need one master ball? And then I discarded it. And then I found out later from my cousin, that yeah, you can only get one of them. And I was like, oh, that to be fair, it didn't really bother me, but I was like, oh, well, darn, that kind of sucks. And then I just continued playing Pokemon. Right. So like that wasn't an instance for me of hoard all items, but oh, that's nice actually. But you know that did happen to me. Bass says I didn't know your backpack could be full. Yeah, it can. <laughs> I know, right? So I want to point this out. So I actually really like this, right? You see the red tint around my screen when I'm out here, but when I go into an area where there's no combat at all, it goes away and cleans up your screen. That's really nice. So you don't got to worry about it in like these zones if you don't want to. Any goes to East Boom, leave him in the pod. We'll take him over when the bridge is back up. And when's that going to be? Yeah, I'm going to turn down just a smidgen. I don't know what my I don't know what my volume was at when I streamed this before, but I think probably about this is fine. Just like a tiny smidge. I will actually wait. No, actually, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna big brain this actually. So what I'm gonna do because I think it's fine on the stream as is. I think on the stream it's probably fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna turn my volume down slightly separately. Because I keep forgetting I can do that. Even worse than using it on a rare Pokemon such as a Tentacruel or a Sparrow. Yep, that was me back in the day. Like I said, I didn't care, funnily enough. I didn't, the younger me didn't really care. To me, I had Ultra Balls, and that was fine. Hey, Villager. Has this thing always been glowing? Hmm. So it's reacting to me still. Ooh, look at all that, like, magic, that Aether. So much for all parts of the Empire being equal, if that's all the crystal they give us. It's not like any of us lowborn can afford a bearer anymore. Yeah, look at that. So it's like making the magic water. So it's filling up the well. So that's cool. I do, I do still like the world building that they put out here. So we're just in the town now, huh? So we gotta go to the Golden Stables. What's this? Oh, it's a shop. Well, I do like shops. Do, do, bum, 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 bum. What are you doing? Making the fish cold. Make sure yeah, you're making the fish the cold. Fish there, son. Keep them nice and fresh. Man, that'd be so handy. Okay, you're the shopkeep, huh? Anything catch your eye? Gaia blade. I have that. But I have a better one. I have better one of both of these. The Goldwork Sash, I mean, that is better by a little bit. Christian Skrull. Now, I could buy some of these, which I might. I might buy some potions. I'll buy, like, two of them. Thanks very much. Curiosity. I hope the shop has items unbefitting of this relatively poor town. I guess that, that's kind of funny. I don't know why I went up there expecting, like, much, like, um, like, amazing stuff. Clearly, this town isn't doing the best, considering they even say they can't afford bearers. Oh. Look at all these veggies. Oh, these are some nice-looking veggies. You know, I will say... I do like... I do like the graphics of this game. And they do a really good job of, like, making the world, like, alive, right? Or at least it feels alive to me. Like, what kind of fish do they have? Like, they have a, like, they have a variety of fish. You have the veggie dude over here selling, like, a variety of veggies. And you can clearly see what they all are. Hey, Forger. Do an elfy trade with the folk from the Monastery of Lee? Funny how Grieger's servants always seem to have full purses. Hmm, funny indeed. 
So the church is corrupt, basically, is, is what I'm, I'm getting at here. Church bad. Kind of a theme for Final Fantasy games. Well, honestly, kind of a theme for, like, Japanese media in general, it seems. Oh, yeah, see, the golden stable. It is like a golden chocobo, I think. Maybe it's just a normal chocobo. It was good, honest work building the aqueduct. Back when we had proper leaders and proper trades. Not just selling our blades and our bodies. Ooh, what's this? Cruise. On dressing greens of Gishel. Gissel. Never down raw, less bitter, uh, less bitter juices inspire violent retching and loose bowels. Avoid the fry pan, lest the fowls stink, taint the iron, rendering it none better than slag. And by no means put to stew, lest the vapors overexcite the stable, bo stable bows. If suffer the fodder one must, first mix with nine parts drake's mint, six parts lemon peel, or three parts ginger root, and soak in honeyed wine for a quarter moon to lessen malodor. Or malodor. Okay, so that's how you make uh, Gishel greens, I guess. Martha Brooks, no sharps. The following cheatery will be repaid with a swift boot to the arse. Mucking, stacking, packing, peeking, palming, foisting, finger ooh, fingering. All right, didn't expect that one. Hey, it's one of those little owl things. Is it? Is it alive? Oh, it is. Yeah, so we know all about those, the, the stall, stall foes or something. Right, right. Yeah, Martha. Let's have a chat. Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking. And why they have an imperial bearer with them. Don't worry about me. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a Stratton lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. I can see that. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. That's right, we said the good name. Follow me. Okay, good. She trusts us now. Yeah, this isn't that kind of establishment. I know, right? Like, geez. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. Hey, Martha. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. Tis. So, where is it you're headed? The Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through East Pool's your best bet. Mm. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. You can make that jump. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. You could totally make that jump, though. Carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job, and he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. That we will. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. Hmm. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you. 
and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Yeah, I'll prioritize this one. Okay, let me just do a little bit of reading here. Yeah, part of me here really likes the barter system. It's these background details that matter, like the meals and RE4R. Right, right, I agree. You know, a lot of pubs or bars are named like that because it was initially just the image because, oh, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Back in the Middle Ages, people couldn't read, so they just do it, knew it from the image. That makes a lot of sense. I never actually thought about that or connected that, you know, but that does make a lot of sense. Well, thank you. That's good. That, that's pretty good. That's a nice little piece of historical knowledge. It'll probably stay in my head. Although I know it's also a synonym of steel, but are, oh, is it? Uh, okay, good. See, I was I was thinking like, oh, it seems. Well, they they knew what they were doing with that though. Our game. She's self-aware. I don't see why we shouldn't fix it. Who says warriors won't? I mean, I guess that's true. Yeah, we could make the jump, but we're helping people as well, so I guess it makes sense. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. Yeah, I really have to wonder why they put a jump in this game. It doesn't really seem like jumping does much. Hey, you guys hanging out with uh, Torgal? You should think about pressing off. Right, all right. All right, all right. So where are we headed? Okay, we're heading back. Oh, oh, the marshes. Oh, I was just down there, funnily enough. So that's the bridge I need to use. So what's up here then? Oh, it takes me down here. Okay, but what's what's down here? Yeah, what is down here actually? Wish I had a bow to call. Nah. He doesn't have a bow. Is that a turtle? Can I kill a turtle? Oh no, it's a crab. Never mind. Oh, it's like they're mud crab. Oh, they're. Are they mud crabs? No, they're me megalo. What? Megalo crab. This is king of the hill. Man, megalo mart sure uh, went down a completely different path in this timeline. Get a quick heal from Torgal. There you go. I should probably go and upgrade my gear soon at the blacksmith, though. Soon, TM, soon. Yes, I can't go. See, I know I need to come down here later. I just like exploring. What can I say? It's an Adamant Toys. Look at him. There's the turtle. Damn, look at him go. Oops. Ah, oh, you know what? Actually, let's, let's go to Torgal, yeah. Oh, I can't break through his shell. Ah. Makes sense, makes sense. So you need to hit him on the head. I went for the dodge, I swear. Come on now. You can turn around heat wave. There you go. Do it now. Hey, keep trying. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Kill me, Torgo, please. Ow. Okay, this is what I have to do. Yeah. 
Yeah, just hit him with everything. Not much damage. I, I mean, he is the turtle. It, it would make sense. I got magic too, big boy. Oh man, he hurts. Here I thought it was actually doing a dodge too. Guess it wasn't enough. There we go. I figured I would get a heal just in case. Oh my God, come on. Okay, there we go. Got some healings back. Casey, see, we're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it back down again. Okay, but I don't expect him to do that. That's my problem. Oh, we're doing good. We're doing good. We almost got him. We almost got him. He's level 19. What level am I? Yeah, we didn't end it in a cool way, but that's fine. We got the kill. We got the kill on the giant turtle. Whew. I'm level 20. Okay, so this is about my level then. Fast is level 20. Okay, thank you. You said that sooner than what I saw, than what I saw myself, so thank you very much. Not only attack, the shell dash thing could also create space. It can, apparently. He uses it in a, a very interesting way. Slice some bees. There you go, some, some easy prey. You know, one thing I kind of just thought about, I, I know I should have thought about this like probably in one of the earlier sessions, but I kind of find it interesting how this game seems to like prioritizing single combat, right? Because like even in some of the action sequences, like when you have a party with you, they're like, yo, I'll take care of this guy. You focus on that one, right? It seems to really like, because even if you have multiple enemies fighting you, the game is still like, it still seems to try to prioritize you to kill like one thing at a time. It's interesting. Oh boy, hello. Which is interesting. I mean, not that you don't have AOE, but it seems like it tries to get you to fight things one on one more often than not. Slice and dice, baby. Yeah, just just whack him. The turtle scares me a little bit. Nah, he's doing magic. He's not coming at me yet. Here he is. Yeah, no, that's actually really easy to dodge. That one still gives me a little bit of an issue. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
There you go. I was like, I know we can do a cool dodge on that one. See, we're getting it back. We're getting it back now. It took time, but we're there. We're basically there. Maybe not so much on his head bonk, but we're basically there. Not a ton of stagger damage, but enough. Yeah, that was easy. You know what, turtle? You're actually really easy to kill. That's right. You're nothing. I'm gonna talk shit to the turtle while I have the chance. A blue... It's like a blue chocobo. Can I catch chocobos? If I can, I want to catch that one. That's definitely a special colored chocobo. Yeah, I hope we can still ride on chocobos too. It's a bluebird. I can fight you. Well, I have to now. All right. I'll take out the leader. I'm sorry, Bluebird. You know what? He didn't put up much of a fight, actually. There's probably a way to catch them, and I probably just found like an ultra rare chocobo. And people are gonna be like, no, you shouldn't have done that. It's like so hard to get and I just like murdered the shit out of it. I don't know. I figured you could either kill it or like and it would give you something or maybe maybe you could capture it. I don't know. I don't know how the chocobos work in this game yet. Pro balls. Thank you very much for the follow my friendo. How are you doing today and welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing good. Oh, give me one second while I take care of some wild chocobos. I shouldn't. I know. I'm a monster, but they're attacking me. All right. They're actually coming at me. But shoot, they came at me first. Okay, no, it's not all sure. There's one over there. So I guess it's more normal. Uh, Good stuff, bro. If I hit you up with a follow, hit me back. Uh, if that's a follow for follow, I do not do that, but I will check out your stuff and see. Either way, I appreciate your follow, my dude. Hopefully you're having a good day. Do, 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 do. I just chased like a little ice shield. That's cool. It's over. There we go. I knew a level would be coming soon. I was waiting for that. All right, cool. So we got some good stuff. See, I mostly wanted for the free health. I'm going to be honest. If only we had a saddle. I know, right? Finished. Hmm. I guess we'll explore down this way and kind of save the little peninsula for last. Should we what down that way? No, that's the way back. Okay, the peninsula would be down that way. Okay, then. So we want to go this way first. 
see i know this is all part of a quest it has to be right it, it's definitely going to be part of a quest or something oh my god spiders i hate them a gloom widow <laughs> Okay, nice, nice. Well done. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, we're looking pretty damn cool, I think. Yeah, we're getting it back. We, we're getting it back. We got it back. I'll even steal her kill. Because I am the true monster. There's like no reason for me to be here yet. I I'm pretty sure this is all gonna be part of a quest. Let's see, best is all right. I think I'm gonna head on out for a walk and all that. Hope the rest of the stream goes well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the time while you're here, friendo, and you enjoy your walk. You've definitely earned it. You've earned a nice walk out in the the good old nature. Hey, take care and we'll catch you later, friendo. Hey, right. that's good. I'm glad. Uh, okay, so we'll go. We'll follow along this path, I think. Let's see. We also have this little like nook right there. There's probably something in there. We'll, we'll go have a look at that. You know, to an extent, I kind of wish you could have the map on screen. Maybe you can, and I just haven't found the button that does that yet. Or you have gone into the options and found that. Like to an extent, I wouldn't mind that. I do. I wouldn't mind having the map on screen. Like it's not really necessary, but for someone like me who wants to look around, like at everything and go everywhere and explore, it's good for me, right? Like see, I got a meteorite for doing that. Damn. My wounds, boy. Oh, you're not dead, dude. There you go. Farewell, spider. Uh, 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 uh. I time to check out the peninsula. Do they have anything on the blue chocobo here? No, they don't. But I do have something on the Imperial Province of Rosaria and Martha. We'll save all that for when we go back to the hideaway, though. See, now what are the chances that chocobos are actually very dangerous in this game? It's funny enough, I think in most games they can be. Nine sharp fangs, wow. Okay, that's a lot. That is a lot of sharp fangs. Oh man, didn't hit it. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Cool, cool. Uh, got two paths. Let's take the other path back. We'll take the bridge first. Come on, there we go. 
Yeah, we're doing really good damage against like the the chappy enemies. Die Hornet. I guess it's true. This one isn't a killer bee. This one's actually something kind of different. I guess we were fighting killer killer bees earlier. All right, not bad, not bad. Okay, so yeah, we can't go here yet. Gated up. Wow, this place is huge, though. Silken Strand. Hmm. So this is a big hub area, then. A very big hub area. Probably a lot of places you can teleport to. Oh, wait a minute. There's a chest. Hold on, we're not going to leave you behind. Who would serve 10 bloody hides in the chest? I have no idea, but that person loves them, apparently. This won't be easy. I'm Big Horn. Not this time. Yeah, not this time, big boy. Did I get hit? I don't know if I got hit. I must have. Good, good, good. Not bad, not bad. That was without being a tree bird. We should be able to get it down normally. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we're not gonna. Oh, we might be able to break out a raging bull. Nope, not happening. Okay, that was the, a total waste on my part for health, but that's okay. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to use Torgal. Might be. It's okay, I can use a high potion. Like, it isn't really gonna matter. It's just I don't like using them if I can help it. Oh, okay. Now, I don't wanna fight. I don't wanna fight that one yet. Okay, I guess we'll deal with the small chat first. The game seems to want me to do that. There is the big boy. Give me. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. Decent. Not too sure how much gill I'm going to get from some of this, though. Actually, here, let's go and see if I can upgrade any of my abilities. Just R2. Because I do have a lot of ability points. I can almost get this one. I mean, that one is pretty good. Uh, I should probably just get it. It's good for stagger. Because, like, my best stagger thing right now would be gouge. Oh, I guess it's the same as gouge. I would like a little bit better. Hmm. No, excuse me. Yeah, I mean, I'll just get. Excuse me, I'll just get that one. I can have like two super powered icon moves. So why not, right?
first strike. That's enough. Ow, rude. Mm, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to interweave the magic bursts. I know it isn't important, but I, I, I like it, okay? I think it's cool. I think, I think it'd be cool to be able to do. Okay, so let's actually go and save Bernard, huh? He's been waiting this whole time. There she is. Fresh cuts, fresh cuts. Where did you get these turnips? From over out. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Yeah, I probably have a lot of items I could sell too. Very good to ease, Paulie. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. Ah, I hear him. What was that? Ah, he's being assaulted by scorpions. Ah, I see. Come on. There he is. I can do that. Ah, oh, double hitting for days. Let's go. Look at all these multi heads, dude. The Cray Claw were taking a little bit, but I'll take it. Enemy slain. That was pretty good. The game has to give me that. I should get rewarded handsomely. Yeah, look at that. Some valley mutters. Nice. Or matters, even. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Yeah, no problem. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. You need to get more water. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Thanks, Bernard. Or Bernard. Bernard? How'd she say it? Now, how long could this take? Realistically, maybe like work and work on constantly, maybe like a couple days. Are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. Bernard. We're hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help, and sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady, and you too, son. You're with Sid, and yeah. Me and Tis. him, we go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right. And she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. Ready to go. Oh, there he is. Don't worry. I've had a lot of practice fixing these things. Timber doesn't last too long in these marshes. Man, dude's fast, man. You turn around for a second, he's there working on the bridge. Get straight to it.